センター一度前に出てきて後ろに下がっていくセンター向こうを向いているアンベイビー Enjoy this great game. And the Seiya Suzuki sweepstakes have come to an end. He has signed, not with the Giants. Sorry, Giants fans, myself included, really wanted this guy. It's not happening. He did not sign with another team in the West, though, not the Padres. Who I thought had a good chance. I thought Hugh Darvish was going to wine and dine him and they were going to pick him up. But no, it is actually the Chicago Cubs, another National League team that has signed Suzuki. The deal is five years, $85 million. I thought it might be a little bigger. So if he ends up being really good, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a, a lot of money. It's $85 million deal. But still, I thought that it might be even more for this guy after what he did in Japan. And if he comes over here and does anything close to that, this could actually end up being a bargain, although it is one of the bigger deals ever signed for a Japanese player coming over to the States to play. So let's get into this article here. And also, we're going to go over some of his stats and、uh, some of my thoughts here. Final thoughts on this move as the Cubs have agreed to a five year, $85 million deal with star Japanese outfielder Seiya Suzuki, a source confirmed on Wednesday. Wednesday. Suzuki met with the、uh, Cubs front office and team chairman Tom Ricketts on Monday night before agreeing to the deal. It is the highest salary for a Japanese position player coming to Major League Baseball, the second largest behind pitcher Masahiro Tanaka's $155 million deal with the Yankees in 2014. So he's joining the Cubs. He played nine years with the Toyo Carp in the Nippon Professional Baseball League, hit 319, 38 homers, 88 RBIs last year, 315 career average. Career average of 315, 182 home runs, 562 career RBIs. And that just tells you right there the potential this guy has. Even if he, even if his average drops 15 points、um, here in the States, he's still going to be hitting 300. Even if he hits 10 home runs less than he hit last year in Japan, he's still going to hit. 28. So he could hit 300 with 28 bombs, and that would be a, a pretty significant drop off of what he did in Japan. It would be just massive for the Cubs. So we'll have to see. He could drop off more, and that's the concern. So there's some risk here because you don't really know. He hasn't ever played in the big leagues. So it's going to be interesting to see. But this is the guy I wanted in San Francisco. It's not happening. He won the 2019 Central League batting title, four time All Star, three time Gold Glove winner. Can't fail to mention that he can also defend with the best of them. And he won the Japan's、uh, Home Run Derby in 2019. So that's pretty much his biggest accolade. Of,、oh, dude won the Home Run Derby. Come on. So、uh, this is absolutely amazing. I thought that he would actually go back to Japan during this lockout. I'm like, dude, is he just going to wait forever? Is he not going to play this year?、Uh, he has to have some options, right? I mean, he has to be able to go back to Japan and play. But no, he waited it out and is now coming to the Chicago Cubs. And. Right here, you can see where he might plug into this lineup. This lineup is not official or anything. This is just an example lineup of who's healthy right now. This can change quite a bit and probably will change. Obviously, the Cubs are not giving up. They pretty much had a fire sale recently. They are trying to get back now. And this is the first step or one of the first steps in doing so. Right now, they have him plugged into the three spot here on Roto Champ. Rafael Ortega, Frank,、uh, obviously, Frank Schwindel is a、uh, kind of up and coming guy who's looking really good lately. Suzuki, Contreras behind the plate, Ian Happ. Patrick Wisdom, good baseball player that、uh, used to be with the Cardinals organization, Clint Frazier. Andrelton Simmons, another guy they picked up recently, and Nick Madrigal, who they got from the White Sox, a dude that just never strikes out, always puts the ball in play. I wouldn't have Madrigal ninth myself, but that's how it's listed right now. He's a young,、uh, you know, very young player, so maybe that's why. But a lot of good contact, a lot of good hitters here.、Uh, it, la it lacks a little bit of thump. Hopefully, Suzuki adds some. Obviously, Contreras has power. You know,、uh, Schwindel has power, but I mean, I don't know. You know, obviously, Wisdom as well, Hap. There's, there's some power in there. These guys are going to hit at least 20 home runs, but、uh, I think it lacks, you know, some big power somewhere there. Some guy who's going to, you know, threaten 40, but. It's still a very strong lineup and obviously made much stronger now by Suzuki.、Um, this is not the official Cubs preview, so you know, I may have made some、uh, errors in my,、uh, my quick analysis here. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll、we'll、try to get a Cubs expert in here when I do the official preview. But right now, this lineup definitely got an upgrade. The Cubs. They're gonna, it's going to be tough for them. They have a lot of competition in the Central. Not a ton of competition. Obviously, they've still got the Pirates in there that they may not have to worry about so much. But obviously, with the Cardinals,、uh, the Reds are also doing a fire sale. So they probably don't have to worry about the Reds too much. 
But still, you know, it's going to be a, a, a competitive division. We'll get into all that a little bit later. Congratulations to the Cubs on this great signing, Suzuki. I'm not upset about it as a Giants fan. I wanted Suzuki. There's plenty of good hitters left, good outfielders left, good right-handed bats, some left-handed bats. The, the Giants will sign somebody. Yeah, I wanted him for the Giants, but there are plenty of really good big league free agents out there who have experience, who we know can hit in the big leagues. There are three Braves free agents right now available with Jorge Soler, with Jock Peterson, and Eddie Rosario. Pick one of them and I'll be ecstatic. I will be ecstatic with any of those three. Preferably Rosario would be my first option. Then if not, I'll take Soler. And if not, I'll be happy to bring Jock Peterson over any of those three. And there's other guys as well. Just give it time. Giants are making the moves, but the Cubs have landed Suzuki. Congratulations to them. Congratulations Cubs fans. Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will talk to y'all very soon because there's a lot of moves going on. Rizzo has re-signed with the Yankees. Congratulations on that. I heard Schwarber with the Phillies. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. And we're going to get all to it tonight. And I got to update that scroll down below for the next video. Please hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all your support. And we'll talk to you next time. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.